Hello my beautiful friends and welcome to another video. I'm Jessica Yik from Jessing Things Up and today we are doing some hand cream. So I got these about a month or so ago, maybe a little bit more, I don't know anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't know anymore. But anyways, I got these a little while ago. I saw them on the Avon website and I thought that, ooh, it is a clean beauty vegan hand cream and it is certified vegan and it's eco-friendly. So in this hand cream series that is called Cold daily moment there are six different scents these are supposed to be long-lasting scents and they are all infused with shea butter now why is shea butter you know such a um, important ingredient when it comes to skin care health because according to the Healthline website there are many 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 um, healing properties with shea butter and shea butter is technically a tree nut but because the fact that it's very low in protein it's less likely to trigger allergies so I mean you be careful you do you you know like if you are allergic to tree nuts you know just, just be wary but I mean apparently it's good for all skin types the other thing about using shea butter is that it also is less likely to irritate your skin or won't clog your pores so it's really good for a lot of different skin types plus it's super moisturizing so it's going to help my extremely dry hands I'm washing my hands a lot doing a lot of manual labor and so therefore these little puppies need a little bit more love than usual. They are each 30 ml and the names of them is what really caught my attention. I actually first saw these before I got them in my box at the face shop stores. I was like, ooh, these look so fancy schmancy, so pretty. But then I was like, oh, well, we're getting them on Avon. So before I got to see them, I kind of got to see them already in the packaging at the store, but not in my house yet. But here you are, this is what they look like. I don't know why they're numbered one to six. I thought it was part of a skincare regimen, but it doesn't make sense for it to because it looks like most of the ingredients are exactly the same. The only difference is are the scent of it. So number one here we have is the Sunrise Bedroom. So for each of these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to list it, show you, and then I'm going to do a little bit of a sniff test. So Sunrise Bedroom is supposed to have a more of a musk scent to it. And according to the packaging here, it has a cozy and snuggly clean musk scent. So let's sniff it out now. Here it is. This is my first time opening it. I wonder if they're all the same color. You'll see that it is sealed. And shea butter is supposed to last quite some time too. Oh, it's nice. It reminds me a little bit like cinnamon. Ooh, okay, so let's also, this is my first time trying it on my hand. Oh, it absorbed quite quickly. It's not too thick, so it's not nearly as thick as our Moisture Therapy Intensive Hand Cream, but it's not quite as thin as um, the aloe ones. It's kind of like an in-betweener. All right, so it went on quite well. It went on quite smooth. Skin feels nice and smooth, doesn't really feel oily. Good. It reminds me of cinnamon for some reason. That is the first thing that comes to my mind. So it's a little bit warm, a little bit earthy, but has like a little bit of a bright note to it as well. I quite like it. The key notes of this one is bergamot, lavender, and cedar wood. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe I don't really know what, what bergamot smells like, but to me it smells like cinnamon. All right, let's move on to number two so number two here this one is called morning florist so my assumption is that it's going to be very floral -y. and according to the back it says that it's a fresh floral fragrance of rose blooms I'm trying to do different parts of my hand so that i get the most of it oh i like this one a lot as i'm getting more mature i'm noticing that i like like rose scents more and more and this one is Lemon, Bulgarian Rose, and Violet Leaf. This one I really like. It's like, it reminds me a little bit of the Velmont Black Rose Body Essence. Just ever so lightly. Not quite as like sexy. A little bit more fresh. I'm guessing that's the lemon. But it smells lovely. All right, let's move on. Here we are, number three. This one is called Noon Park. And this one is supposed to have a refreshing, sparkling citrus fragrance to it. I like citrus, so... Oh. This one has a very clean scent to it. It's kind of like bright. Really nice. Very light. And what I really like so far about all these scents is that none of them are like overpowering. 
So this one has grapefruit, hyacinth, and iris. Okay, it's the grapefruit that's what I really like because I love the scent of grapefruit. Like grapefruit always has almost like a little tiny bitterness to it, but then fresh for me anyways, that's what I, I always attribute it to. Like I can almost like taste the grapefruit. <laughs> I really like this one. I love the scent of grapefruit though. It's so light and fresh. And just like that little bit of flora at the end. Next here, what number four we have is Sunset Rooftop. I love the names of these. I wonder how they came up with it. That's I find that really, really interesting. So for Sunset Rooftop, it's supposed to be a cool fragrance with a hint of sweetness. I'm just gonna smell some coffee first just to kind of reset my nose. I'm gonna have hand cream for months. And it's good because these each, after you open it, have a, has a 12 month shelf life. So it works out. Oh. Mm. This one's okay. Not my favorite. I thought that I would like this one a little bit more. I mean, I can see the cool scent to it, maybe. A cool with a touch of sweetness. There's a definitely sweet note to it. But there's something about it I don't really, I'm not falling in love with, which is weird. And so according to the website that this is pear, rose, and patchouli. But there's something about it that I'm not love loving. I don't know why. I love pear and I seem to be liking rose a lot more. Like it's okay, it's just not my favorite. Okay, well that's Sunset Rooftop. Two more to go. Next one here is Midnight Street for Night on the Town. The Night on the Town is correct because according to the back it's supposed to be a deep sensual fragrance of red fruit. All right, so let's try this one now. I almost forgot where I had put anything and everything. Oh, this one I really like. Oh my gosh, this one's really, it is sexy. It's sexy, flirtatious, yummy. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, it's, it's cassis. I love cassis. Have you ever had a cassis macaron? It's delicious. Um, but it's cassis, blackcurrant, and amber. So there's a lot of fruitiness to it. Oh my gosh, this one smells amazing. This one reminds me a lot of when Mark had that naked line. Oh my gosh, one of the best ones. I don't know why, it's immediately bringing me back to that. This one I really, really, really like. Last but not least, we have this one, number six, which is Dawn Attic. And this one here, it's supposed to be a bitter yet gentle calming fragrance. Maybe because you're waking up or like you're up all night and it's, you need <laughs> some, some relaxation from the night. So it needs to be relaxing. Hmm. Interesting. I automatically think of baby cream for this one. Huh. I like it. Again, not my favorite. And this one according to the website is Orange Blossom, Pimento, and Vetiver. Out of all of these, I think my favorite one definitely has to be that Midnight Street. It was just so sexy, so yummy, fruity, oh, just delicious. And then I think my least favorite one is probably the Sunset Rooftop. I don't know. There's just something about it I didn't really like. Maybe it's patchouli. I don't know. I don't know what patchouli smells like off the top of my head, but maybe it's that because I tend to really like rose. I tend to really like pear. So I the only thing I could think of is the patchouli. But I mean, overall, these are really, really great. They're nice. I love the small compact size. It's gonna fit in my purse, in my back pocket really easily. If you wanna learn more about them, make sure you go to the link in the description box. And until the next video, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastically kind. I love you so very much. Bye.